What's up, guys? Anthony here for Rev3 Games. I am joined by Nate Bolt and John Sung. We're about to do something amazing. We're about to play Artemis. John Sung, what is Artemis? It is a starship bridge. You've got five people running stations, and you've got one person who doesn't get a computer. They're the captain, and all they do is give the orders. I like the sound of that. I'm going to keep that in mind for later. Nate Bolt, this is your office. What did it take to wire this office to play Artemis? Uh, it, it was actually a lot of fun. We The main thing we wanted to do was get a wide throw projector that was at a steep enough angle so that we could all sit in front of it. Two separate stations, each with four monitors, six computers, um, a lot of ethernet. I love it. Let's go see how it's played. Your, uh, your orders, sir? Assuming you have some. The engineer's job is to distribute power through all of the systems and make sure that uh, everything is working right, overclocking certain things to make sure that they are awesome, and uh, distributing coolant to make sure the overclocked stuff doesn't explode. Yeah, I got orders. All right, just, I'm just... I got all sure. kinds of orders. All right. So, Esther, let me know as soon as you've scanned all the unknowns. The science officer pretty much tells what kind of ships are in the area and what their phase harmonic frequency weaknesses are. Whoa, there's P-63. Roger Chang, give me a heading of about 70 degrees and let's go warp three because they're about to attack DS-2. All right, Captain. The helmsman's essentially the chauffeur for the entire ship. All right, there he is. Roger, he just blew right past him. Do you want shields? Oh yeah, I want shields. I want shields full up. Shields engaged. Mr. Sung. Yes. Divert power to shields and weapons. Diverting power to shields and weapons. Esther, give me a frequency. B. Mr. Bolt, set phaser frequency to B. Phaser frequency set to B. Communications, what are they saying? Basically the receptionist of this ship. They have not responded. Great, that means we can kill them. Nate, do it. What weapons, sir? Let's start with phasers, and then if they still don't answer, let's go up to torpedoes. Affirmative. Rear Loading shields at phasers. 92%. Roger, you think you can face them? Uh. <laughs> Mr. Sung, can we give a little more power to the shields while Mr. Chang figures out where we are? Stand by, rear shields require some boosting. Mr. Bulch, switch to manual and fire those phasers like crazy. Shooting at them. That's what's, that's what's going on. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, no? Uh, weapons? Esther, how are they doing? Front shield zero. Annie, hail them again, their shields are down. They have not responded to any communiques. Nate, that means we get to blow them up! Yeah! Nice! <laughs> he pretty much is geared for a suicide mo mission because I don't think he cares whether he lives or dies or anyone around him. Somebody bring me some pretzels. Captain needs some pretzels. No pretzels, that's fine. Captain, we have no spare crewmen on hand currently to dodge uh, <laughs> you with pretzels. You should have saved up Captain's some beforehand. Captain's gotta get his own pretzels. Yeah. Captain will be right back, everybody. Uh, he does like being very bossy, but being bossy doesn't really equate to being a skilled leader. Annie leaned over and whispered to me, like, look at the captain, doesn't he kind of look like an asshole? It looks like there's an enemy ship heading for DS-3. Okay, what's the heading? Their heading is 205. Set a course, Mr. Chang, and let's go at warp two. That's, that's our station, Roger. We don't need shields up. That's a good idea. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm our, not seeing these guys, Esther. Oh, there they are, T-11. Be aware, there are, it looks like, Australian battleships, multiple ones, heading I'm towards ready. us from C2. You think we got time to blow this guy up before they show up, Esther? Oh, yeah. All right, let's blow this guy up. Actually, you know what? Oh, oh God, oh, shields shield up! Engaged. Annie, see what their problem is? Lowest frequency is D. Set phasers to D, Mr. Bolt. Setting phasers to D. Foot shields at 0%, sir. Whoa! Damage control teams have taken heavy casualties. Oh, oh Captain, they're willing Surrender, but they're already dead. <laughs> well, forward shields at zero, sir. Give me a status on the screen, please. Status. Holy sh! That's bad. Yeah, they took out some stuff. What happened? I don't know what's we, going on. Uh, you guys, I thought we shot. <laughs> I thought we had shields and sh. He's a bad captain. He doesn't know what he's doing. Everything about him 
says, I'm going to captain this ship in a shit fashion. Mr. Sung. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Our damage control teams were all killed. Do we have like a smart monkey or an intern? I, I, don't, I don't think so, sir. I think we're dead in the water. Captain disengaging shields in a wild ass attempt to help somehow. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bolt. All right, find me the nearest space station, Esther, and let's set a course. Yes, 37K, uh, direction 29. Oh, God. Are we heading directly towards the Esther, or are we just drifting? We are being pulled cool toward a singularity. Yeah, we We're just singularities way over, over there, there, you baby. We're passing okay, singularity. But we have, but we've also passed all of our stations. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> Why aren't you waiting for orders? Jesus Christ. Uh, the driver. Yeah. Uh, I got some concerns. It seemed like we were turning in slow motion. Well, listen, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, uh, I don't mean, to, listen, I'm just going to say that uh, having an Asian guy on helm of a starship is pretty much the most reliable place you can put somebody. It looks like things are repairing. Are things not repairing? God, we look sweet in space. Australian battleships are also approaching DS. Esther, I don't even want to. <laughs> Esther, I don't even need that in my life right now. Looks like our docking procedure has been successful. Oh, thank yes. God. How many of those Karelian battleships do we have approaching, Esther? Four? Yeah, I don't like that. 13K. Leaving, uh... Annie, are there any friendly ships around that we can hail? Perhaps any other battleships? Anything else with combat capabilities? There's My TR-24. Moments. Tell me TR about TR-24. TR-24. Ask them to report status now. Thank you. A lot of course to the big old group of evil. Esther, which way is that? 261. 261 to our death, please, Roger. <laughs> I don't think he really had a game plan other than sacrifice a ship. Today is a good day to die, as they say. Today is a good day to die. Roger, we're going to point at him this time, right? Shields are TR currently up. TR-24 is offering help. What should I tell them to do? Tell them yes. <laughs> All right, I'll ask them to defend Artemis. Thank you. Roger, we're drifting. I need I my nose I am trying to outflank the fleet. You're going to flank four four ships with one. EO3's lowest setting is D, and their shields are low, so we can just probably strip them of their shields and kill them. All right, let's lock on to EO3, Nate. Oh, they're firing! Nuke oh, them, Nate! I hate them! D91, nuke them. Yeah. Forward shields at 33%. D91, nuking. Yeah. Forward shields at 17%. TR-24 is unarmed. TR-24 is unarmed? Tell TR-24 to get out of here, they're gonna die. See, here's the thing about transports, no weapons. And really, they can't help us. We see that you're in a starship battle, but we don't have any weapons. We just wanted to say hi. They said, yes, we will help you. We're on our way. They get there. Oh, by the way, we do not have guns. The captain was quick to dismiss, you know, the value of that ship. We've received some sort of data from TR-24. Oh, cool. I love data. Maybe I'll read it leisurely while we get shot at. Shield report. Front shields are down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We left them to die. John, damage report. Energy level is now at about one third. See, here's the thing, is that the ship status is reporting different stuff than what I've got on my screen. That's a bummer. I think we've discovered a bug in the reporting system. <laughs> Great. Somebody hailed DS-1 for a firmware upgrade for our f***ing starship. <laughs> Roger, it looks like you're going towards DS-1, which is under attack, and that's not what we wanted to do. Roger, you, want, you know any Asian driving jokes? <laughs> hey, I was Jesus. told I'd only need to double park. <laughs> Roger, let's correct course to 60 degrees, please, and get there before those enemy fighters do. Oh, this is going to be problematic. Annie, request docking. I have requested docking and a full arsenal of weapons. Uh -oh. Yes! Roger, where are we? What happened? We passed it. What? Oh, <laughs> Roger. There were things that were right there. Like, you could see them, and he would warp right past them. I'm not going to deny that Roger Chang f***ed up. He f***ed up. Keep in mind, I never told him to jump to warp. So that's a thing. All right, suicide run. Kill whatever you can before we die, please. All right, sounds good. All the guns are broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break the fourth wall and ask for a whiskey. Can somebody grab me a whiskey? This is gonna be awesome. Kill that guy, kill him, kill him dead. I'm overclocking all of our weapon systems. All Thank right, you. Nate, initiate blaze of glory. Blaze of glory initiated. Rear shields, oh man, our rear shields are taking a beating. I don't know what to do about that. John, I don't want to talk about it. I want you to know, 
that it was an honor serving with all of you. <laughs> something is happening with the nukes. They're doing something. Kill! Kill! Where are they? Playing a card? Fire good. nuke! Yes! Firing. Really far. I don't know that that hit anything. Oh! Roger, get us closer! Oh. Yes! Oh. Firing something else! Yeah! We've hit DS3 with one of our own missiles. Well! I felt pretty guilty about that, actually. <laughs> I just kind of felt like I should have been more responsible with those nukes. I swear to God, I'm going to do a kamikaze mission. No one's going to take it from me. Sir, it was an honor serving under your command. I already said that, though. Whoa! Oh, forward shields are down! Loading a nuke and a homing missile. We cool! Got, got Fire guns. them as soon as they're loaded, Watch and we're that. facing them. No, no, no. I we said when we're facing them, Bolt. Okay. I felt that most of the crew was incompetent. That's gonna hurt. That's oh. gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's Type one homing missile fire. <laughs> that I seems like that overkill. <laughs> Esther, what are these things? These things are big. Oh. These are torn off oh, Leviathans. Annie, yeah. turn on the rave air horn. Did you say turn on red alert? We have no weapons, sir. I don't know what's going on. Oh, no weapons? No weapons. No weapons. I don't oh, know that's cool. Uh, Let's see what happens. Crew, Let's if your happens. chairs lean back, I suggest you do it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. oh no. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the voyage of the Artemis. <laughs> Dude, this was fun. I yeah. really enjoyed this. This was a great yeah, game. Totally, except for the TR-24 part. That the TR-24 had no tactical importance, cool. and I already told you that. If you want to play okay. Artemis, you can download it. I'll put the link down below on this website. Thank you so much to the crew of the USS Loma Prieta. Uh, they are a chapter, a local chapter of Starfleet International. They're a Star Trek club, and they set all this up for us tonight. Remember to subscribe to Rev3 Games for more insane yeah. stuff like this. All I'm saying is there is a chain of command. And sometimes, I, like, communications doesn't mean you communicate whatever it comes in your head. You know, I, I was communicating everything to you. Like, you were just choosing to ignore it. you're communicating it. too much. Zip it. <laughs>